Welcome back, everybody. Today we're looking at S144, the treatment protocol for stroke and transient ischemic attack, also called a TIA. For patients with symptoms suggestive of TIA or stroke with onset of symptoms known to be less than six hours in duration, we will expedite transport, make initial notification early to confirm the destination, and notify the accepting stroke receiving center of potential stroke code patient en route. Get the specific last known well time in military time, hours followed by minutes, Bring a witness to the ED, or if witness is unable to ride on the ambulance, obtain an accurate contact number. Allow the witness to accompany the patient into the ED, or provide contact information to the ED upon arrival. Use supplemental O2 to maintain an O2 saturation of at least 94%. Keep the head of the bed at a 15 degree elevation. If trained and available, obtain a blood glucose. If the blood glucose is less than 60 milligrams per deciliter, we treat for our hypoglycemia protocol, if patient is awake and able to swallow, we will give three oral glucose tabs or paste for a total of 15 grams. If the patient is able to drink and eat, let them. If the patient is unconscious, we'll give nothing by mouth and we should have ALS started to our location. Use the pre-hospital stroke scale in the assessment of possible TIA or stroke patients. So we use a Cincinnati stroke scale to assess for facial droop, arm drift, and speech abnormalities. Provide a list of all current medications, especially anticoagulants, to the emergency department upon arrival. If the systolic blood pressure is less than 120 milligrams per, mer per mercury, place the head of the stretcher flat if tolerated. Important signs and symptoms to document. If there's sudden unilateral facial drooping or weakness, sudden unilateral arm or leg weakness, sudden difficulty speaking, evidenced by slurred speech or the inability to find words, asymmetric pupil, sudden severe headache with no known cause, and then we have some witness considerations as well. Whenever possible, a witness should accompany the stroke patient in the transport apparatus in order to verify the time of symptom onset and to provide consent for interventions. This is something if you plan on working out in the field, you will see quite a few of these calls, and it's important to get familiar with the potential presentations of strokes and TIAs. So that was S1. 44 treatment protocol for stroke and transient ischemic attacks. See you guys on the next video.